Okay, this again is an oral problem. Rain is falling at 20 meter per second at 30 degree with respect to vertical. Okay, now the question is what should be the velocity of a man so that the rain appears to him to be falling vertically downwards. Fine. So, phew, let the velocity be v. Again, you have to draw the vector triangle. 20 meter per second at 30 degree. It is given. 20, 30 degree. And this is a resultant velocity, relative velocity vector. Now, they are asking what is the velocity of the man? So, this is the minus vo vector. Fine. Now from here you can find the magnitude of VO vector using simple trigonometry which would be sine 30 degree is equal to mod of VO vector upon turning. So mod of VO vector would come out as 10. So the velocity of the man should be actually 10 meter per second for him to appear to, to to the rain appear to him to be falling vertically downward. Now in the same question, suppose uh, the rain appears to him to be falling at 30 degree with respect to vertical, then at what speed he should be moving? This is how the rain is falling at 30 degree with respect to vertical. Now he, he is moving and still the rain appears to be 30 degree uh, fa falling to be 30 degree with respect to vertical. That means the rain appears to him falling 30 degree with respect to vertical on the other side. This is velocity vector of rain and this is how the rain should appear falling to the observer. Now we have to make the triangle. We have to make the vector triangle. Now the man is moving horizontally. So this is how the man is moving. So this is VR and this must be minus VO vector. Okay, so VR vector if you see from the triangular law of vector addition VR vector minus VO vector VRO velocity of rain with respect to observer is velocity of rain vector minus velocity of observer vector. This is velocity of rain vector and this is minus velocity of observer vector. So these two vectors, summation of these two vector should be equal to this vector and we can see from triangular law of vector addition it's coming. So this is 30 degree. This is vertical line. The man is running horizontal. So this vector is horizontal. This must be 90 degree. This comes out at 60 degree. Then this is also 60 degree and it's an equilateral triangle then. So magnitude of VR will be equal to magnitude of VO. Magnitude of VR is given as 20 meter per second. So man should also run at 20 meter per second. So if the man runs at 20 meter per second, then the rain would appear to him to be falling at 30 degree with respect to vertical. Okay, simple. Okay, one last question in this kind of uh, problem. And then you'll have more problem to solve in exercise. Okay, suppose rain is falling vertically downward. And uh, there's a bucket in which rainwater is getting collected. Now suddenly what happens, wind starts blowing. Wind starts blowing, suppose the rain was falling uh, with a velocity of V. And wind starts blowing with a velocity of 2V. Then the question is, what will be the change in the rate of uh, filling of bucket by water? Water was being filled at certain rate, let that rate be R. So what will be the rate with which now the water will be filled in the bucket? Your options are A, it will remain unchanged, the rate would be R, B, it will become 2R, C, it will become 4R or D will become root 5 times r. It's an interesting problem and you should really rub yourself with this one. So think about it and get your answer. <laughs>